what my philosophy is the same daggum philosophy I have 29 years. I call them when I want to. And I don't care what the blankety blank blank anybody says. I'll give you an example. Before half of you were born, 1991, uh, we're playing in um, Madison Square Garden against Vegas. And I jumped up to call a timeout, and Kevin Stallings says, We coach, we get one in 40 seconds. I said, I don't care, we could be down eight more because we'd had like a 20 point lead, and all of a sudden Vegas had cut it to 12, and they were scary. And my guys looked like they were panicking. And what I base it on is is it more important to call it then or more important to save it? And, you know, my high school coach said, yeah, dang. He says, if you weren't so stupid and you'd called a few more timeouts, you'd won a few games. You know, I mean, I'm going to call it the way that I always have. I called it at uh, 11, 11. They were two timeouts during that course of their run anyway. I mean, timeouts are overrated, I believe. God Almighty, we take a timeout every time the referee gets a heartbeat, you know, 12. 16, 8, 4, you know, I talk to them, why do we leave the huddle? Watch me. I keep my guys in the huddle less than any coach in basketball. I send them out. I'm tired of talking to them. There's only so much I can say. So my p policy, philosophy, thought process, I'm going to call a timeout when I think it's the right thing to call. I mean, it's seriously, one of the coaches said, you want to call a timeout? Justin Jackson got the ball on the wing, and Isaiah Hicks is low, posted low with a little guy behind him. I like that. So I'm not going to take that away. But uh, I did. 1991, go look at it. Called one with 12 minutes to go and a half. Well, I called one Saturday. It's Friday. Friday when we play. I look at you for everything. It's all what day it is and what time it was. Uh, but uh, I called a timeout at 11. There were two timeouts in there. And so, you know, I'm not going to change because we've been pretty damn good. And I think that uh, I had a player. And this is more important than any of you guys or any fans or any all that internet crap. I had a player one time tell me, he said, Coach, you call a timeout, I'm going to panic. I don't want my players panicking. Every day we practice, I put them down six with three minutes to go or up six with three minutes to go almost every day. So am I wasting all my time to call them over there to put our hands together and sing Kumbaya? Uh, so I'm going to call it when the hell I want to call it. I don't care what you guys say, what anybody else says. It makes no difference. You had not been on the bench a thousand games, and I have. So that's my philosophy. Talk all the hell you want. It makes no difference to me. We've won some games by not calling timeout. One player said, if you call timeout, I'm going to panic. And that's a hell of a lot more important to me than anything you guys say or any plumber that's putting something on Facebook. <laughs> well, How's that? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, think of it, guys. We've played, I've coached a thousand games. We've been in some tight situations. We've won some games. I have never. As, hey, maybe this will work again. With this one, you, you already had two timeouts. I mean, you already had two times to talk to them. So. Yeah, I mean, that's the whole thing. We talked already twice, and then I call one with eleven because I didn't like the good look on our guy's face. That's your answer. If I don't like the look on my guy's face, I'll probably call a timeout. But we've been there before, really. Every day, 86-80. Before we played Virginia, I'll tell Tony this. He changed my practice because I'll make it 66-60. <laughs> I swear to God, that's the truth. You can go back and look. If we get ready to play Virginia, late game scenario, it's 66-60. Us ahead are 60-66, us behind. Everybody else, it's 86-80. <laughs> One year we played Billy Tubbs when he was at, um, uh, maybe it's in his TCU. Yeah, I think it was. Didn't he coach at TCU? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. So I made it 96-90. <laughs> we beat the dog crap out of them. They were the leading scoring team in the country. But uh, So if my guys look nervous or if they look un confused or panicky, then I'll call it at that point. But uh, yeah, I'm doing this for my benefit, not yours.